Anointing changes things Moments of recovery Celebrate Jesus with Recovery TV You are welcome to your moment of recovery on Recovery TV Overflow And don't forget restoration Proceed Is still on Yes, so let's hear from this gentleman. All right, God bless you. Let's hear your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord, brethren. My name is Ifan Yekocha. My testimony goes like this. Um, that was three days ago, as in the overflow program. The first day, that was on, th on Thursday. So when I got home, my body was just disturbing me that I should call home, I should call home. And I called my younger brother Pity. He said, Ah, mommy no well, mommy no well. I said, ah, mommy no well. Can you give mommy the phone? Next thing I heard from my mother was that we should pray that she should not die. And my little siblings too. This thing has been happening since on the 30 when the restoration um, uh, revival got finished. I said, Ah, that's 30th of this June, right? Yes. And I said, You people did not call me. Why? My mother said we should just be praying she should not die. That for since on the taxi, my little sister have not go to the toilet. Ha -ha. I said, this is serious. So when she continued saying like this, and I shouted, I said, Mommy, stop talking like this. Don't you believe that you have Jesus? Why are you talking like this? You're talking like an unbeliever. I said, okay, I know what to do. And I went. So I was thinking, so I slept off that Thursday. The next day, I was preparing for my for the overflow program. That was on, on Friday, the last one. So I was like outside the premises. Before I know, something just came to me and shot me on my chest. And now I, I went to fall. I said, what is this, an arrow? I said, I know what to do. I just kept quiet. So I came to church. And when pastor was saying we should pray for everything concerning any angle, as I said, praying, I started praying, I started praying. Then when I got home, that was yesterday. And I made a call. And I made a call. My mom now picked it. I said, ah, Mommy, why is that? He said, She's normal. I said, You're normal. As in her. I don't understand. She said, ah, She's talking to me now. She's working. I said, What about my new, little sister? He said, ah, On Saturday, my little sister will go to the toilet. Since on the Thursday, she has not gone to the toilet. Oh, that's it. I said, Brother, praise the Lord. Wow. Amen. What that do you was... understand by that testimony now? That is, um, if you say 30th, um, between 30th and yesterday, which was 8th, um, if I'm, am I right? Yes, 8th. That is for about nine days. The, the, sim, the younger sibling have not been able to go to uh, toilet for nine days now. And so there's the power of the overflow that went straight home there, the anointing. So there is no distance, there. there's no any um, barrier. There's no barrier at all. And the power of God went straight as he was here praying. The anointing in the overflow went over, overshadowed the sibling, and she got healed. The mother also received a healing. Then what do you think of that arrow that shot him? Yes, also. The arrow was shot to break him down, to weigh him down. But he resisted, and never, you know, because he, he believed that he was clothed, and the overflow power and anointing was on him, and he was not able to fall. He, he made up his mind. He came here and was praying, and the Lord delivered him because he came in here with faith and power. It was what was happening in the family that shot him. The arrow in the family shot him. You get what happened now? Yes, sir, because it was going around. And you hear him saying, I know what to do. I know what to do. That is, there was a battle in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Now you have that information. When you came for the overflow program, did you pray? I prayed general prayer uh, with the brethren, sir. You didn't remember your family in prayer? I prayed together with them, sir. I prayed for them, sir. And I directed all my prayers to the village. When you were directing prayer, don't you know you were shooting arrow? Yes, sir. Because this arrow, since I was born, it has never happened. I was just surprised. The thing just came to my chest. And I went to fall down. I said, no, I will never fall. I said, I know what to do. I came to this place and I prayed. 
you had no problem. You understand me? Yes, sir. It was the problem in the family that returned because by the time when overflow, overflow, you know what overflow is? No, sir. That's overshadow. It's like inundation, overwhelming, something that is, you know, overflowed, you know, flood that can chase somebody away from the house. So overflow means it flows beyond Ajebule, beyond Lagos State, beyond Undo State. Your, your place, when you are going, you must pass through already. Yes, sir. From Imo State, sir. Uh, Imo State. Yes, sir. Then it flow beyond Delta. It flow beyond the Anambra State. Because where you directed the thing was to Imo State. Yes, sir. So when it got Imo State, there was embarrassment to those problems. So they were embarrassed. So the, 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 the arrow came for vengeance. That's why your mom told you that she's okay. Your sister that could not defecate because she had been going to the toilet. She'd go to the toilet, but she never did anything there. You just go there and come out. That's all. But when you directed the overflow anointing, to Imo State. Because you cannot teach anointing where Imo State is. He knows where Imo State is. He knows your house. Yes, sir. And he went there and dealt with them. So when they came out, they came for vengeance, to revenge. They shot you. And you, he said, I know what to do. Yes, sir. You came to the fellowship. And the Lord flushed away rubbish. Yes, sir. You got home. <laughs> you see what happened? Yes, sir. That's what happened now. Now you go to home and you pick phone. Yes, sir. And your mom says, we are healed. Yes. You would have asked your mom, what time did you get healed? They would have told you what happened. And not only your mom being healed, your sister at the same time. Yes, sir. Two major problems. Nine days. You know, thank God we pray so much prayer today. You know, today is the ninth day, am I correct? The number of prayer. We prayed so much today and you are going to get results. Amen. So this is amazing. You see this, why the thing was able to touch him is because of his level of anointing. So there is a level of anointing you will reach. Arrow will come, you will not even know. You won't feel it. But it's just developing. Like a flying ball that just have wing newly. He was learning to fly. So that's what happened to him. That's why they shot him immediately for. Arrow! Before I never knew, in fact, my, my, my late father said that he would never die in Delta. He said he's going to die in Igbo land because Igbo land is so good that there is nothing like no witches and wizards there. Yes, because yes, the man feared witches and wizards than anything. Especially when he went on leave, somebody said, I'm going to pinch you. Since that time, he never go to village again. <laughs> as far as uh, the, the witches and wizards are concerned, he was a coward. So, and really, he died in Ibonant. The day he was going to die, so he went by himself to the hospital, took bed and died there. He just slept off. That's the way he died. Okay. It is now. In Igbo land, that is where you have the grade one witches and wizards. They have come from Isoko and Urobo and the rivers and the jaw and everywhere. In fact, because Igbo man is so intelligent, when he receives his own, he's always very different. So they received in a serious way that Igbo land, there's nowhere safe now. That's what I was telling you of my father. He, he, he believed, he used to use uh, his, uh, he, there's something called easy chair. He puts it outside. He sleeps out, just in the premises. He says he's taking fresh air. Say so if it is in the village now, they will be, <laughs> yeah, they will be doing something. So he so liked Igbo land. 
But if he's alive now, he will change his mind. I'm telling you. So he, they are rich everywhere. Especially if you come from Lagos, they will come and test you. If you go for burial, they will test you. It's too much. Anyway, the Lord break them down. Amen. You are growing in anointing. Amen. You are growing. Yes. You are growing. Stand here. Let me uh, put more anointing on you. Okay, Father God Almighty, I pray that you release more anointing on this gentleman. Let more anointing enter so that when they shoot him arrow, the arrow will never walk. It will not near him. In Jesus' name. When he come to the left, they will fall. He come to the right, they will fall. Ah! Oh, Rabbi Shea. Uh, don't be afraid. The, the Lord is working on him. Yes, come Amen. on. Now. Still on testimony. <laughs> testimony time is a blessing time. Yes. Amen. You're welcome. What has God done for her place? Yes. God bless you. Let's hear your testimony. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> I'm Moni Nasunapo by name. I want to bless God for healing me on Friday at the Overflow program. Towards the ending of the program, by the Spirit of God, that mentioned my case. Said somebody was having a pain in the chest. That morning, that Friday morning when I woke up, I was having Jesus pain. It went from my stomach in Jesus and it stopped at my chest and was paining me severely. Towards the afternoon period, it, it went down a bit. Then coming to service that evening, I was uncomfortable where I was seated. So when, that prayer, when my case was mentioned, and already we've prayed, that has prayed, he asked us to open our palms. I, I started rubbing my hands on my chest, and that proclamation was made that somebody here is having chest pain, that the Lord is taking it away. And that moment, I started feeling hot, hotness on that spot where my hands were placed on my chest. So getting up that evening, it was, the pain was dissolving. Dissolving. Then on Saturday morning, while I woke up, when I woke up, pain was no more there. Hallelujah. Amen. Please let's give Jesus because, a wonderful clap of praise. Because the Lord took it away. Yes. The Lord, she received her instantly. She was feeling the hotness that yeah. moment when the prayer was going on. Okay, the hotness yes, she wasn't was there before. The sign. No, the hotness was just, wasn't there. I was just, the pain was as if something was there. It was just, it moved from my stomach and stopped there. So when we, you've prayed and asked us to open our palms and rub it all over our body. I placed my hands there on my chest and he said, someone is having chest pain, the Lord's going to take it away. So I was, my hands were just there and I started feeling a hot sensation there. At that Instantly. Moment. Yes, sir. And that was what you call dissolving. Yes. Because that hotness is to dissolve. Yes, sir. Wow. Jesus makes you free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now go back to your uh, you. singing group. Amen. We are yeah. still on testimony. God bless you, sister. Let's hear your testimony. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for... Okay. My name is Sister Joy Onwa from Okoya Kota. So I want to thank God for God to deliver me for a white month. You know, as we enter the program of uh, fasting and prayer, after one week, two weeks, from around three o uh, to three in the afternoon, my nose begin to scratch me somehow. If you know it, Qatar just come from there. So headache joint the Qatar. So for two days, after I come I come prayer for a year. So the Qatar just stop. So it remain the headache. So as today as I stand for backyard there doing work that's uh, that uh, white Sunday. So before one hour, this headache just come up again. Serious one. I just bring it doing the work. So before everything, the headache just stopped finally since that day. I never feel the headache since three weeks. Let's give Jesus a wonderful wow. clap of praise. Wow. The Lord Jesus Christ makes you free. Amen. You have another one. Okay, let me just quickly interpret it. You know, due to our viewers uh, who are watching us all over the world, we may not pretty understand, understand our own yes, native our own, English. Yes, sir. It's called native English yes, language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, she's testifying of God, God's goodness in our lives. That uh, when we started our white moon, that was last month, the white moon, fasting and prayer, the 30 days of restoration of fasting and prayer, 
uh, two weeks after the fasting and prayer, she started feeling uh, cold. She had cold. That is Qatar, running nose, headache, and all that. She continued with the uh, program, and she came. Within that, uh, after that two weeks, within the white moon, she got her healing of that cold. But she had uh, the severe headache continued. But the, uh, the summary, the official summary of the program on the 25th, which was a white Sunday where we all here gathered in white, she, 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 she felt that headache seriously that morning. But as the program ends, she, she couldn't locate that headache anymore. The headache disappeared. That was how she got her total healing. Till date, now she has not experienced that headache. That was what she just testified. Is it during the restoration season? Yes, the restoration season. So the Lord days. restored her. Sure, sure. The Lord restored her. Wow. All right. God bless you. Let's just quickly hear the second testimony briefly. I want to thank God for God to deliver me from my friend's hand and the one pastor hand again. Because daddy says something. Now say, God will rebuke all those pastors, them. All those pastors that want, they want to kill children of God. So God deliver me from one pastor hand. Praise the Lord. How did you receive your deliverance? Uh, maybe he didn't want to give the story. All right. Uh, All right. God knows how he delivered her from one pastor's <laughs> hands. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, may, your may your miracle continue. Amen. Uh, may God keep on delivering you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go back Amen. again. We are still on testimony. We are clapping unto the Lord Jesus Christ and not unto man. <laughs> God bless you. Jesus Christ. Okay, testimony stay on. All right, all right. God bless you. Let's hear your testimony briefly, sir. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is uh, Prince Williams. Yes, I testified here uh, three days ago, but the devil wants to take my life, but it will never get in Jesus' name. Amen. So if I say that I have an accident yesterday and I was standing in your midst this morning, you will talk is a minor accident. But the God of Almighty, the God of Edmore, during the program of overflow, the anointing of overflow go before me and he deliver me. So the testimony goes like this. On that Friday after the summary of the program, on my way going home, I stay very close to uh, Jack Conde Estate, inside the Jegu, that's where I live. So I always on mobile, so I love riding bike than entry motor. I don't like to but a bus whenever I go. So there I have my bike. So I was on my way going towards the traffic. Then I saw some other bike there. I took him one way. I said, okay, let me join them. Behold, this vehicle coming with full speed this was on my direction. Before I know it, I didn't know how I escaped from that accident. I just clamped a pep on the road. Then I went through. So yesterday, my, my cousin that was delivered about uh, five days ago, she said she need the type of my Bible, that she don't want the whole one. So I now promised her that don't worry, I will come to my mom's place to buy you a Bible, which I did yesterday. So I bought the Bible for her. Then she said she want the sticker, a postage sticker on the Bible. I said, okay, when we get to fellowship today, I will do that. So on my way going home, I didn't know how my break fit. I just finally, I was on a motion. The next thing I see, I just saw myself on the ground. I cannot explain. Then I'm wondering, ah, I couldn't stand up. I couldn't stand up for where I fell. And my bike was in my front too. Then I could not stand up. I was just there. So people now ran after me. They now help me. They bring me up. For me to stretch the leg, it, it was painful. Then they helped me to remove the bike from the road. Behold, Glory be to the Almighty God that there was no any vehicle at my back because I was in the express. So I now called my wife that I have an accident to say we are I say uh, I love my express. Before I you know it, she called everybody then after some time within twenty minutes I begin to receive strength. Then they asked me if I will be able to ride the bike. I said yes I will. Then I start the bike and I got home yesterday. Immediately I get home. I so much thank God for the courage of my children as well. Because whenever I come back for war, when I'm praying, they also pray with me. So they, are, they pray with me, and I give God the glory because I vow to God that I will be here today. 
How are you feeling now since that yesterday? You're not feeling any pain or anything? I, feel, I, didn't, I didn't feel any pain or said the bruise on my knee. That is all. Please let us put our hands together unto the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has delivered our brother. He cannot come to the overflow program and go back the same. He can't remain the same because the presence of God is here. So the Lord has gone before him and that was why the Lord delivered him from that accident. Amen. Where are you having the bruise? The bruise. Where? Yes. On your knees? Yes. So, okay, stand there. Stand and face me. Go a little bit back, a little bit back. Go back a little bit. Okay. Right. On that, okay, open your right palm. Your right palm. Precious God Almighty, before whom I stand, I pray over his palms that the power of the Holy Ghost will touch that palm and put a healing chemical is is feeling some pains you are, you are feeling some some pain yes sir mm, you are feeling some pain mm, but by faith you are covering it up so father in the name of jesus i pray that you anoint that hand that's uh, ye kalabashaya <laughs> Receive, 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 I said receive, 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 oh that power, look at that, you see, it's gone in, okay, come back to life, come back to life, okay, 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 put your hand there, all right, so let it be there. That is it. Let it remain there. Let it be there. Let it be there. Let it be there. Okay, can you rub it? Rub your hands there. In Jesus' mighty name. Rub your hands. Just, you know, try to <clears throat> squeeze it a little bit harder. Squeeze it a bit harder. See, as, as we are doing that, you see, the, the pen is disappearing. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Yes, I'm feeling it was getting cold. You're feeling what? Cold. Cold? Yes. There. Yes, now. You see what's happening? That is it. You see. Look, you can bend your leg back, bend it backwards. Okay. You know, exercise that leg again. Now, what about the pain? The pain that was there? Uh, was not as usual. Not as usual. Yes. There is a change. Yes. You are healed. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. One you more to go. One more to go. Testimony time is a blessing time. God bless you. Let's hear your testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Stephen Ogoriba is the name. I'm testifying on behalf of my son. Angel, you can bring him down. Um... For the past five weeks, before last week Sunday, my baby has been somehow. He used to throw up. After eating, he throws up. He becomes very weak. At the point in time, we took him to the clinic. They ran tests. There was nothing. They could not discover anything. No malaria, no nothing. No trace of malaria. We waited for like three weeks after, thinking perhaps it was hiding somewhere. After three weeks, he should at least come up. After three weeks, we went back again to the clinic. The same story. But this boy was not improving. Somebody that we know that used to be very active in the house, can scatter so many things, very lively. He used very weak, very weak, very weak. So after last week's Sunday, the Super Sunday, we met with the apostle. He called on him. He came, laid his hands on him, and prayed. When he released the breaths, of the Holy Ghost on him, the guy should have. And Apostle said something has entered into this boy. He touched the back of goodness. He was sweating already. He said, I should also feel it that the Lord has taken charge. I touched him. I felt sweat all over his back. We went back home. No drug was administered to him. The boy became super active. From last week Sunday, no drug was administered to him. He has been, in fact, what he was not doing before, 
He started doing it. Now he can, on his own, if you just leave him in the sitting room, he climbs, 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 he climbs the dining table and sits on his own. Every time you have, in fact, the Lord, no temperature, no stooling, no vomiting. This boy is perfectly sound. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I got something from his testimony. Oh, all right, sir. He said the boy will, will climb the dining table. Yes, and sit on his own. <laughs> Many times all through the week. As soon as you remove your eyes from him, he climbs the dining table, sit down. Dining table? For food. Yes. What are you thinking? Why can you analyze that? <laughs> dining table? Yes, sir. He thinks he doesn't know what he's doing. Dining table. <laughs> he lives everywhere, he climbs the dining table. Go and prepare. <laughs> eh? Go and prepare because it's going to be. Eh? What do you say now? What did you just say? What did you say now? You can understand his language more than I do. He just said something now. Amen, somebody. Amen. Isn't the Lord good? He, is. he said, The Lord Jesus Christ did all these things, and may his name be glorified. And so let the miracle continue. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. He's, he's, he's healed. He's, somebody say he's healed. he's healed. Who healed him now? Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. So, God bless you. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. Please let's put he our said, hands together unto the Lord Jesus. Yeah, just like that. Just, God. Yeah, that's just like that gentleman. That gentleman was healed as well. Yes, sir. He you was. know, the one that laid hands on his knees. Sure, sure. Yes. Because that thing was going to cause him some kind of sprain wow. and that he wouldn't be active for some days. But because we have prayed for him, the Lord, the Lord has taken him. control. Amen. So it's okay now. Amen. Amen, brethren. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't the Lord good? Please give me a very big clap of rain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, you are welcome to your moment of recovery on Recovery TV. Recovery TV. Recovery TV.